guys so today i am doing a tutorial on the look that i have on my eyes now and i don't know if you guys could tell this is going to be my first video with my new camera um so i'm still learning to use it so just bear with me i'm getting there um if any of you guys have any tips i got the t5i and so far i love it it's got really good quality but yeah, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look. And this look is using the palette that I got inside of my BoxyCharm that I showed you guys. Um, we'll just get right into the video. So I've done one eye already, just to save time. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so we're just going to begin. I'm with a blending brush. And I'm going to... I'm using the palette that I got inside my BoxyCharm. And I'm going to use this color right here. And this is going to be all over my lid to kind of make everything the same color and like act as a primer. And if you see me looking over here, it's because my mirror is over here. But I'm going to try to do as much as possible in the camera. So I'm just taking this all the way up to my brow bone. Okay. So then next, I'm going to mix this color and this color. And this is going to be my transition crease color. And I'm going to put a lot more pressure on this side than when you go on the inside. So I'm putting more pressure out here in the corner. Okay, so it's just a little bit. Then I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to lightly tap it with this color. And then this is going to be the outside corner of my crease. Okay, so then once I finish that, I'm going to take this middle color here, which is like a rose gold color. I'm going to take it on my finger because I find that it works a lot, lot better on your finger than it does on a brush. Um to really pack it on since it is a shimmery color. So I'm just gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. Just kind of rub it around. And these glitter colors do have like a lot of fallout. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Um, I do have fallout around. So I'm going to take my blending brush again and I'm just going to blend out the tops and the edges to kind of make everything go together. And then I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to dip it back in this middle color. Just to make it precisely like all the way up to my crease. Because it's kind of hard to do that with your finger. Okay, and then as you can see, I have all this fallout right here. I am going to take this little brush and I'm going to put it in this color right here. And this is going to be the color that goes on the inner corner of my eye. Just to brighten everything up. So, and I'm going to try to blend it in with that rose gold as much as possible. And then it should look like this. Okay. So now I'm going to take this slanted brush and it's black because I just did this with it. And I have like a little thing of water over here. So I'm just going to get the brush wet and I'm going to dip it into this black color. And then this is what I'm going to use for my eyeliner. Um, and I wore this the other day and it stayed on all day. So I totally recommend it. So I'm going to be looking over here because this is where my mirror is. So I'm sorry you guys. I cannot do my eyeliner in this camera. So I'm pretty much just drawing it on. Like you would if you had a, um, a gel liner. That's what I would do. I'm using the same brush. So. 
And I know you guys are not supposed to pull your eyelids whenever you do. Whenever you do eyeliner, you're not supposed to pull them. It's bad for your eyes. I cannot, for the life of me, do my eyeliner without pulling my eyelids. I just can't. So, I'm going to do it. So then I'm just going to come up here with my little wing and then kind of connect it together. So I'm just going to take this side and pull it. And then kind of color it in. This is what you should have. This is what it should look like. All right, and now I'm going to take this little tiny brush here, and I'm going to I'm going to use it on this color and this color mixed once again for just my lower lash line, just under it, just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want anything too dramatic. Okay, so do something like that. So this is the completed eyeshadow look. Um, I'm gonna do my mascara. Okay, I like to take a spoolie and brush through my lashes literally to just brush them. Um, it helps my mascara go on really, really well. So now I'm going to curl them. I'm just gonna take it like so. Again, just to kind of brush through them. And then I'm going to take my mascara and I'm using Maybelline The Rocket Volume. Now, the only thing I like this mascara, look at how it does my, to my lashes. The only thing is this brush is a plastic brush. It hurts whenever you put it on, when you get real close to your, your lash line, it hurts. It hurts me anyways. If you guys have used this, tell me if it's hurt you because. But my all-time favorite mascara is the Falsies. I love it. And the brush is like curved so it goes right with your eyelashes. I'm just gonna wink. Cut all my lashes. And I just about this is something else. Um some more. Okay, so back. And I'm just going to try to coat all of them. And look at what I did, you guys. The struggle is real. So this is what it should look like. And I know my wings probably are not even close to being symmetrical. They probably never will be. But this is what it looks like. And this is using just this palette that I got inside of my BoxyCharm. Yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And please comment down below and tell me what you guys would like to see. Um, yeah, and let me know how my quality is. I am still getting used to my camera, like I said. So it's probably going to be a while. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. But, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and I will have a new video up on Tuesday. Thanks, guys.